you know, not many people will tell you that you look good. Eh? <coughs> um, by the way, that's I've learned from this business. Um, f okay, I start by introducing myself. Karyuki Josphat is my name. Married to Piero Sterotich. Um, between us, we are blessed with four <coughs> young children. Okay, currently. <laughs> Just in case uh, in the other meeting I say other things. And uh, we've been around for the last 12 years. Uh, before this opportunity, I was uh, teaching in the university. My wife was a high school teacher, teaching physics and maths. Uh, by the way, we met in um, the university where we were doing the same courses, physics and maths. Uh, shortly after that, uh, physics and maths became chemistry, and shortly after that, <laughs> biology, you know. <coughs> uh, <laughs> And um, I'm used to, before this opportunity, I was used to things to do with computer science and all that. But when I came over, it was a different language. And that's why I want to start by saying that uh, you can learn anything you want to learn. I think one of the topmost skills that you want to develop is uh, the skill of learning new things. And the learning is not uh, accidental. Uh, as we say in somewhere else, uh, um, a log can never become a crocodile because it has stayed in the water for too long. It will remain a log. And uh, you, you will not become knowledgeable because you've been attending meetings, because you've been reading books. You have to purpose that I want to learn. Uh, so while you are listening to the speakers here, one thing you should be asking yourself is uh, exactly what did they do so that I can do the same thing? It's not rocket science. You know, some people have failed to succeed in our business because they expect that it's so complicated that it cannot just be uh, using the products, you know, sharing the products, uh, bringing in people and you buy a land cruiser. Uh, it sounds like that is not the way to go. Uh, I told you of an engineer I brought <coughs> on board and um, when he listened to the presentation, he argued that uh, this kind of a business will require that we design a formula. Because the way you've drawn those circles, this is me, I bring this one, then this. we need to draw a formula so that it gets to a point where, you know, things are just flowing. <laughs> and um, he's an engineer. That was about six years. And, you know, I allowed him because I also thought maybe, maybe he might come up with a formula. <laughs> now, it's six years, I'm still waiting for him to come back. <laughs> <laughs> with a formula. Don't be uh, that kind of a person who complicates simple things. Our business is very simple. And I would love that we keep it that simple. And that is one thing that I had to do. Uh, our beginning was not as good as it is now. Y you see, I remember when we were starting for me, I wanted money, my wife wanted uh, health. <clears throat> Not that she was sick, but uh, she was a candidate, a strong candidate of uh, diseases. You see, when I was marrying her, she was very tiny. Uh, in, in our wedding, she was being tossed like this. She was so tiny. And you know, she's important um, she, uh, from Kericho. Nimeona mashemenji around, so. So uh, I, I had to prove to the parents that she's not going hungry in my hands. So what, what is the practical thing to do? Feed. To feed her. Let me feed. And you know when I do something, I love doing it for excellence, not trying. <laughs> so I fed her to the extent that she grew too blessed and horizontally. You never say fat. Who saying fat? <laughs> you say blessed horizontally. 
that even when we were walking, she couldn't catch up with me. You know, and uh, as we were walking, some people would uh, ask me, oh, young man, why are you leaving your mom behind? You know, when, <laughs> you know when you are big, you also look a bit inched, isn't it? Uh, all right. <clears throat> so that is why she joined. For me, I joined for money. But now my biggest question was, how will I really achieve those high levels they are talking about? You've already understood that uh, the higher you go, the, no, no, not the cooler this time, the more money you get. So I really wanted that, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. I was used to one formula of doing things. I wake up in the morning, I go to the lecture halls, I tell them, look here, I go back home, and the following day I do the same thing. Now I'm told, now I have to change that. And that's why I'm saying, if you are deliberate uh, towards learning, you are going to learn the skills. <coughs> So we decided we will be teachable, and let's be taught how to do it. I remember, you know, uh, one of the hardest things for me was to sell anything. Do you know people don't love selling? They love? Who has bought something this week? Something, something, yeah. Virtually everyone has bought something. But if I ask the opposite who has sold something, you realize that very few people have sold anything. When do you make money? When you are buying or when you are selling? When you are selling is when you make money. So I decided I would have to do it. Some of you know how I sold my very first product called Amiton. Now it's out of stock. Am I Merundi? I'm Jerundi. Now I remember <laughs> I sold Amiton in the night just because of fear of Nyonekane Nikiuza. Mwarimu, Auze. So I prepared a poster somewhere, I mean, in, in the night, and I put Kwamaduka where I was uh, living, so that no one can see me. And I disappeared, and I waited now. Fortunately, someone called me. What was Kienda Kazi? So someone called me. I can use a, hi, hi, hi. It's like you have uh, weight loss pro products. Do you have a meton? Now, do I even know what is Amiton then? <laughs> what would I have said and I want to sell? The first answer is yes. yes. Then you can be discovering what it is. <laughs> How much is it? J just a minute, I finish what I'm doing, then I get back to you. What do you think I want to do? <laughs> to check the price. To check the price. By the time I'm buying it, I wasn't aware whether it's a solid or a liquid, or, but I had already <laughs> sold. By the way, confidence sometimes works, eh? But today, do you think that is how I do it? No, I have learned how to do it. Now, the skill of talking to people. Do you know that is one of the hardest thing? One of the hardest things for people is talking to people. How many of us here feel like, ah, I can talk to anyone? Don't raise up your hands. I know there are a few. But many people, you tell them to talk to others, they will not even want to imagine it. When we are training people on how to talk to people, we tell them uh, the starting point is when you meet someone, say hi. Is that difficult? But do you know what they do? Someone will get into a matatu. Remembering Vizuri Sana, just what saying, the first thing is to say hi. And then I end up with one domo. In a guama, the guama me bata stroke. But you see, you need to start somewhere. Just, just say the hi. Don't bother with what will happen after that. Are we together? Just say hi. But of course, you need to say it in a way that uh, you don't look like you are suspe you know, suspect. You know, there's a way you can go meeting with someone and you're saying hi. And, and then they know by the time you are coming back again, Kimbeti Menda. Now, you, you need to. So if you ask me, by the way, the skill we want to develop most, the skill we need to develop most is people skills. And it starts here, it starts with one thing people look at the outlook first. People look at the outlook first. Before you get out of your house, look at yourself in the mirror to see whether you, uh, you love yourself, isn't it? 
Yeah. Don't be like, you, do you know when I started in this business, my friend, the way I used to put on my clothes. The way I was dressing. I, I lately, in the recent past, I posted uh, <clears throat> my attire then. Uh, I don't know who saw that in the social media. Uh, be, the photo before and after. And someone yesterday told me that the after looks like um, it's the tw 20 years younger than the 20 years older photo. But for, leave alone the photo. I used to have a shoe. Those who have seen the shoe. And I, did, I bought it because, you know, I did uh, physics and maths. And I understood that sometimes you look for something that will take you for the longest. So now, uh, I, there's this big shoe. It wasn't fitting very well. But anyway, I wanted as uh, I, I, my leg grows bigger, there is room for expansion. So, uh, you know, you have to think future. <laughs> you have to think future, my friend. So now, this shoe, I would come in with it to the meetings, and David Mokera is my upline, he is here. I could see the way he was looking at it. And then I would you know, definitely he is uh, concluding. This guy is thinking future. <laughs> kumbe, kumbe alikuwa naona, this guy anaribu mukutano. Because even the people who are coming, they see the shoe, they might not even join. Thank you for not chasing me out of your meeting. Today it's different. Don't ask me how he told me because it was very difficult even for him to tell me. So <laughs> it's my wife. Actually, my wife sent him to talk to me because that shoe was in the Kumbari end and just like that. Anyway, <laughs> you have to sacrifice something for you to get something else. <laughs> anyway, now, first look at how you are dressed before you think of addressing people. Dress comes before addressing. And that is when things changed. By the way, as I was growing the business, one thing I discovered is that people were now following me with ease. Do you know you want to be so attractive as if... Now, we used to practice this with my team. Uh, in the in a training center, we would say, if you want to become a director, walk like... And director. So I would tell them, uh, where is Lydia Mwesa? She's here. <clears throat> I would tell, I would tell, would tell Mwesa, Mwesa now, we are practicing. And now I tell the audience, now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for a brand new president team member, Lydia Mwesa. And then Lydia Mwesa would now come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, new, you know. You know, you practice until you become, isn't it? You practice until you become. Now, it is the same thing even in the attire, isn't it? Don't just put on because uh, you have the money or because you are comfortable. You put, in, you put on clothes for business, isn't it? So that you can attract people. Now, people's skill starts with you being attractive and then now learning how to address others. And uh, the, f not, the other thing you need to learn about people's skills is that you have to see everyone as important and potential. Everyone. I mean everyone. I love the example we were given by G G uh, Mina here of uh, the blind person who was nodding positively. You know, it's better that you be blind in the eyes than in the mind. He wasn't blind. He was very alert and very, you know, seeing very well. But he never judged him. You need to see everyone as important and potential. Now, if they judged me, by the way, the way I came in, they would have lost a whole strong leg. <laughs> I wasn't the kind of a business. I remember my wife told the presenter, uh, my sponsor who left anyway, but here I am. Some people are sent by God just as angel to show you the way. 
the, my wife told, told him, when Josphat comes, please don't talk business. He's a bookworm, nothing else. And it was true anyway. And unfortunately, okay, when they f were doing the presentation, I came in, I was already in the university teaching, then I came in when it was going on. But in a hurry, they removed the papers and everything. And fortunately for me, one paper fell down. Now, me nikiingia na nikwangu, sinitaokota anything anywhere. So I picked and I saw it was uh, uh, some circles. I became curious. So I asked, what is this? And I could see Kenya shillings. Oh, I'm karaoke kamau. You see Kenya shillings? You see Kenya shillings? And uh, you are attentive, isn't it? So that's how now uh, he had to present afresh. And that's how I joined. So I'd say I joined accidentally. And here yeah, I am, having achieved my dreams because of that accident. So don't prejudge people. See everyone as important and potential. Did you see, did you know there are some people that you will uh, want to bring on board, <clears throat> but then you tell yourself, ah, they don't have money. So you don't even talk to them. And if you t are to talk to them, you talk with them with that attitude. We've been taught by a Mulavu attitude. You talk with them with the attitude of they don't have Will they join? No. So people's skills. How do you relate with people? And this starts before you bring them on to business and even after you've brought them into business. How do you relate with them? By the way, in plain language, in our business you are paid based on how big your organization is. So who pays you? It is the people that you are bringing on board, isn't it? So you should look at them as your bosses, people who are so important in your life, so that you don't want to just relate with them in ways that they can disappear. By the way, <clears throat> people don't leave the company. People leave. People leave. You are saying, Mimi, now I leave Mimi. People leave. <laughs> yes. They don't leave the company. They leave you. So what we must do is that we must really relate with our people so well so that we are like a spark. You remember uh, those who are Christians of one uh, gentleman, uh, Peter, he was asked, after everyone else had left, he was asked, now where, where? Do you also want to, to leave? What did he say? Niende wapi, is it? Father Lucas. Niende? <laughs> that is what you want people to be saying. Niende uh, wapi. Because they are so much glued with you that they don't want to imagine being elsewhere. Like myself, the way I have built the business, I cannot imagine being anywhere else because of the benefits I've gotten from this. Now, the other thing I want to mention in a few minutes is develop self-leadership. Develop self-leadership. And I'm talking of self-deliberately. Your business will never outgrow you. Your business can go high, but if you are not growing with it, one, at one point it will look for you. So be sure that you are growing as your business does what? Grows. Those people who don't bother with this kind of trains, and congratulations everyone who is seated here. Those people who don't bother, they don't go anywhere. Actually what they do is sometimes they build a very growing, fast growing business, but unsustainable business. So you have to really work on yourself. Did you know that <coughs> uh, we say if you, you are good, if you have worked on yourself, then everything else out there also looks good. Did I tell you of the story of uh, some grandchildren who me and uh, smelling butter uh, on, the, on the mustache of their grandfather when he was asleep? So he woke up one day that, that morning and he was wondering, why is uh, everything smelling so bad? So he left the room, uh, he went outside. <coughs> but Everything was still stinking, smelling. He went to a hotel. The hotel was? 
uh, I'm sure he came to KICC and the KICC was smelling. Because if you, I don't want to say if you are smelling, but if you are not clean, everything else is not clean. So we have to first work on ourselves so much. And when I talk of working on ourselves, I'm talking of especially where? In the Congo city. Perception of things. How do you see things? Do you see yourself succeeding in the business? Do you see possibilities or do you see impossibilities? Because you become what you see. Um, Severally, the company gave me in the past some big bonuses for incentives. I remember one, one of them was uh, of 600,000, just as an appreciation <coughs> incentive. But when the CEO was presenting that uh, uh, check, I remember <coughs> uh, what he said then, it was a he. He told, me, he, he told people, you know what, the company only gives you an empty check and you write your name and the amount in it. And I realized, oh, so it's about me writing the amount that I want. Isn't that powerful? Whatever you're earning today, can I tell you something? You can decide to take it three times higher. Friend, I don't know where he has gone. He has taught us here. Do you know there is a time we sat with him and he drew those uh, circles and structure together and I literally doubled my bonus. Before then, I thought I was earning too much. I was already earning over 300,000. And I was thought it was too much. Yes, he's there, he's my witness. I thought I was earning too much. But man, within a month or two, I took it to double of that. Is it the company that, oh, okay, thank you. Is it the company that paid me or it's me who paid myself? It's me who paid myself, isn't it? Yeah. You no, know, I got to a point of deciding what do I want to do. I remember when I was buying uh, the machine I'm driving now. Some people are calling it uh, climb, climb on um, because you climb. You know that land cruiser where initially I used to drive one where you have to squeeze yourself like a snake. To go in. Severally, I was knocked here trying to squeeze. <laughs> but now it's uh, you climb, you know. And it feels nice for tall people like myself. Well, you know. <clears throat> but do you know, do you know we, we took less than seven, eight months to buy that car? We just decided, uh, uh, let's buy a Land Cruiser. When we, we, we saw this you know, new ship, you've seen it, eh? The one, who, the who is who are driving. And we said, let's, let's buy this one. We are in your life. Here you can make money. And we worked for it. Man, seven, eight months, we had already accumulated enough money to buy that machine. So what am I saying? When you work on yourself, everything else that you want will follow you. Person, I mean, self-leadership. The person you become. I want to close with the, the story of <coughs> uh, some people who uh, went to bury their friend. Actually, what, what happened is um, employees were told by their boss that, hey, so each one at a time, the boss would go to him, not him literally, and tell him, by the way, have you heard? The person who has been stopping your promotion has died. Now, if you are told that the person who has always stopped, you know, prevented you to be promoted has died, will you cry, really? Although there are those who cry ordinarily because they are trained criers, but <coughs> will, will you really? <laughs> I, I know there are some here who are trained on how to cry. You, you don't even bother so much. So everyone was told that and they were eager to go and see that person. So they would um, go pass by and then they would see the person and the reaction would change immediately. What the boss had done, at Kua Meka Kyo, Kua Casked, Palendani, Mekwa Kyo, Nakuna Mutu, Kuna Mutu, Amekufa, Nick. So I make a cure. So kila mtu anakunja na machozi ya crocodile. 
kuangalia inakuwa ni ile real. Jua mejiona? Yeye. So what was the lesson? That the person who was stopping them from being promoted. So who among us as senior managers and executive managers want to become a director this month? The person who can stop you is who? Who wants to go with us to Istanbul, Turkey? The only person who can stop you is? But a time comes when you say, I am no longer going to stop myself. And I would want you to tell you, I would want you to tell yourself that. I am no longer going to stop myself. Yes. Yes. It's very simple, by the way. I can tell you for a fact, the next meeting we are coming here to KICC, so many people would have become directors because they are no longer going to stop themselves from becoming a director. Nothing can stop you. So we are unstoppable, guys. This is a new beginning. It doesn't matter the setbacks you have had. I love saying that every setback that I come across is just a perfect setup for my greatest comeback. Every setback I have come across is a perfect setup for my greatest comeback. Are we ready to spring back? Are we ready to spring to our greatest potential? Let's go for it. Nothing can stop us.